good morning, it's Dan. So in today's session, we'll talk about what to do if you're not hitting your goals right now. Hey, good morning. Hope you're well today on my way to CrossFit. So I was thinking about goals, uh, and obviously everybody has goals, or most people have goals. If you're watching this, you probably got goals. But uh, one of the problems is that I think what happens is the goals are often really big and really far away and it's really difficult uh, sometimes to stay on track because on a day-to-day -day point of view you kind of you kind of can't see your goals because they're so far out there and that's really challenging so i think what you need to do then and this is you know i was thinking about this just this morning something that i implemented this morning is you need to go back through your goals and you need to work out what, what is it that you're trying to achieve and what are the daily things that will enable you to get there. So I'll give you give you an example. So um, I need to lose some weight. Summer's coming. Want that beach body. Um, Save this every year, and it's just always out there. It's just always out there. If I just lose five kilos or whatever that weight is, then brilliant. But then when it comes down to the actual day to day, and I'm sat and I'm watching Netflix, and I'm like, I just have some crisps. I just have some sweets. And it's like, that's not moving me closer to my goals. So what I've done this morning is, I've actually written down what would move me closer to my goals. Fairly obvious thing to do, I think. So obvious that nobody ever does it. So the things that will move me closer to those goals, for example, are CrossFit every day, uh, two liters of water every day, sticking to the diet every day. Like, just those three things alone will enable that weight to drop off. And it's like, yeah, but Dan, that's really obvious. If it's so obvious then, why aren't you doing it? I mean, that's just weight loss goals, right? You've got your own separate goals, whatever that might be. Uh, let me give you some more. <coughs> so some of the other ones might be, well, I want to generate more leads. Okay, well, how are you going to do that? The big goal is generating leads, but you don't generate leads by generating leads. You generate leads through outreach or paid ads. So outreach is, you know, emailing people or um, um, phoning people up. Uh, I did mention paid ads, but before you do paid ads, you also want to run some organic content. So what content have you got lined up this week? And then you want to run some paid ads. So you do those three things. They're not necessarily in order, by the way. Uh, I do organic content. I hate doing outreach. Hate it. Um, uh, oh, it's paid ads for us. I don't see the point of outreach. People connect with me all the time on LinkedIn. It's just the same shitty, spammy message every single time. Um, and it's just spam, basically, that's what it is. And people phone me up, no relevance. We had one yesterday. Who, who manages your foreign exchange? What? Yeah, who manages your foreign exchange in your business? And I'm like, dude, fuck off. Nobody. What? Like, why would you have foreign exchange in our business who does that so it really annoyed me needless to say so what is your goals and then what are the daily actions that will take you towards those goals that is goal setting in a nutshell what are the goals and what are the daily actions that will take you to those goals that's it in a nutshell all right, I hope you find that useful. I'm at CrossFit, no one's here yet, so we'll just, uh, oh, I'm well early. I could have had that coffee this morning. All seven minutes early. Um, so we'll catch up with you on the next one. Have a wicked day, take care.